Welcome back to the virtual hangar. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple watercolor painting with a caffeinated twist. Your kit will include two pieces of 6x9 watercolor paper, one plastic paint palette, one packet of instant coffee, one flat paintbrush, one round paintbrush, comes with a little plastic thing to cover the bristles, just throw that away. You may also need a pencil, a pair of scissors, a small cup of water, and maybe some paper towels. Alright, to get started we are going to mix our colors with our paint palette. Um, I'm using this little teapot just to pour some water. We're going to pour just a little bit of water in three of the sections of our paint palette. We're going to mix three different values of the same color brown using the instant coffee. Um, I'm using scissors just to cut the corner off the packet so I get a bit of a cleaner pour. And in each of our three pieces here, we are going to just pour uh, an increasing amount of instant coffee powder to make our colors. So I'm pouring just a little bit of powder in the first one, a little bit more in the second one, and then the most powder in the third one. That's going to give us uh, one color that's light, one that's medium, and then one that's dark. Um, they're all going to have the same hue, which is the brown, um, but they will have different values, the lightness or darkness. And I'm just using the flat paintbrush here to let the instant coffee granules dissolve into the water. Now we're going to start painting. So if you've never watercolored before, I gave you two pieces of paper. We're going to use one as kind of our practice sheet. We're going to test our colors and then we'll use the other one for the actual art we make. The technique is the same whether you're using instant coffee or store-bought watercolor. You're going to start with a wet brush, dip your brush into the color, and then brush the color onto the paper. I'm going to make just a simple square of each of the three colors that I mixed here because I want to see how dark these values actually are. Um, I'm not rinsing in between because you don't really need to when the color is all exactly the same and I'm just testing the colors. I think that these aren't quite as dark as I would like them to be. So I'm going to add a little bit more coffee powder to each of the three colors. Wipe up my mess here. I'll mix those three in just like I did before. And once I get those all mixed in, then I will go ahead and test these three new values. So again, I'm just going to do a square with the lightest color, a square with the middlest color, and then one more square of the darkest color, yes. And I think that these colors are much richer than the first round, so I'm going to go ahead and keep these. Uh, and I'm ready to start working on my actual painting. So, on your other sheet of paper, take your pencil and, as lightly as you can, draw the outline of the coffee cup that you want to paint. I superimposed a kind of darker image of what I ended up drawing with my pencil over the, uh, the video here so that you could kind of see it better because you want to draw as lightly as you can so that um, it doesn't show through on your final painting, but what that means is you can't really see it in the video. So, uh, you know, roughly if you can draw what I drew and then we will go ahead and start painting. For the first layer, we're going to do a nice even wash of the lightest color that we've mixed. So what you're going to do is start with a wet brush, dip it into the light color, and then working quickly, spread that light color all through the entire coffee cup and the saucer that it's sitting on and the handle. You want to do this quickly enough that the water doesn't have a chance to dry before you filled in the entire background layer here so that the water the color in the water <laughs> uh, blooms evenly across this entire wet layer so you just get a nice even wash um, when we watercolor we work light to dark so we're doing this light background layer just to give some color and then we're going to start on layer two. Once that first layer is completely dry, um, dip your brush in the water first. And then I'm going to take some of that middle value that we've got. And I'm going to apply it to the edges of the front of the cup. We're going to kind of define the cup shape. And um, 
make that stand out a little bit from the saucer. So we are um, adding color while it's wet. I add some color here to the two edges of the cup, the outside edge. If you have more coffee on your paintbrush and then you dip it in the part that's still wet on the page, that color will bloom through anything that that wet part is touching. So you can see I add water here because I want the color to go a little bit farther into the cup. Um, and I'm going along the bottom as well. And then we're gonna let that layer dry completely. I'm gonna use the round paintbrush now to kind of draw the edge of that puddle up towards the top of the cup so I can make that front side of the cup a little bit sharper. And then I use the flat paintbrush again to do bigger areas like the inside of the far end of the cup. Um, you can see how anywhere I put more color on the brush and drag that across the paper, that's how we get um, darker colors on a, the actual art. That's how you make shadows and such. So I'm doing kind of a darker color on the right side of the inside portion that I'm working on. Um, and as long as you don't touch these two sections that we've just painted and let them dry separately, they won't blend together. So once those two sections are dry, we're gonna do a third section. I'm just putting a little bit of the shadow on the inside of the handle of the cup. And I think I use the middle value of paint for that. And then when that dries, um, I am going to head and going to add another value of shadow to the um, saucer. So I'm just getting the whole bottom plate thing wet with just regular water. And then I use the first value again to just um, add a little bit more shadow to kind of the back side of the saucer and then the bottom part where it's sitting on. Um, but because I've got the whole saucer wet first, all of that color is just going to blend really evenly and nicely across the whole um, plate while it dries. So I'm just going to add a little bit more here and then I'm going to let that second layer dry completely. Um, while it's drying, I am going to do the inside actual coffee portion of the cup. We're going to make a little cute latte art. Um, so I am going to just fill that in. I'm using my round paintbrush because this is a smaller area and I want to be a little more detailed. And then um, I'm going to switch to the flat paintbrush once I get those corners nice and sharp. Um, you can see from my painting that I like to flip my paper around while I paint. I think it makes it easier to, one, avoid dipping your hand in the wet part of the painting that you're waiting for dry. Um, but also it makes sometimes the angles a little bit easier to get the shapes that I want to draw. Um, if you see like watercolor tutorials on Instagram, or not really tutorials, but like speed paints that people do, um, they will um, tape the edges of their paper down to prevent it from warping because of the water. Um, but I like to spin my paper around because I think it makes it easier to paint. And if you put your painting when it's finished in a frame or something, you're not going to be able to tell if the paper is warped at all. So I don't think it's worth the effort, honestly. Um, so once I've got my sort of middle section of the painting finished, uh, I'm going to flip my paper back around and just add a another layer of the darkest color to the saucer. I'm going to put um, kind of a shadow uh, on the handle side of the cup. So that would be like where the cup is sitting. If the light was on the left, it would cast a shadow to the right. Um, so I'm just gonna blend another layer of that darkest color across the saucer here and do a little bit on this inside curve. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges. The front edge of my plate got a little bit messed up from where I put my hand in it. Um, and then as this dries, I think I might add a little more color to the shadow using the darkest color. Um, just on the inside under the uh, handle there. Then I'm gonna let this layer dry completely before finishing the final touch, which is just to take the round brush and go ahead and letter in whatever coffee-related quote makes you happy. Um, 
you totally don't have to write what I write. You can write whatever you like. You can skip writing if you want. But for some tips, you can check out the brush lettering video we posted way back a year ago at the beginning of quarantine. If you need some tips for how to brush letter, just remember to start with a wet brush before you dip into the color and you should do just fine. And there we have it. So if you want, um, your painting is done. I like it this way. Um, there it is, just about finished. But if you think it needs a little something extra, usually when I watercolor, I like to take a felt tip pen. This is just a fine point Sharpie pen. And I like to go um, and just go over the outline that I drew with my pencil. I just think it gives the painting a little bit more definition. And there you have it. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Um, please tag us on social media and I will see you next time.